What's going on guys? Uh, Shooter here and today this is some uh, S&D or search and destroy on jungle and we're playing black ops. No more battlefield. The game's not out yet. So we're gonna throw in black ops and this is a god long time ago. File share. We cleaned that off. I cleaned that off a couple days ago. There's nothing on there that there's nothing on them if it's empty. So everything now is live. I have three amazing scores in search and destroy because to be honest that's the only game mode I play. It's the only game mode that I would think requires any level of skill and anything. There's no kill streaks. So all the kills you get, you most of the time, are by a gun, and it makes it harder because everyone plays more conservatively. It's not so much as rushing, and if you are going to rush, you have to be good at it. You have to know what you're doing, and you have to be able to excel and, in other words, succeed in the whole in the rushing category. That if that makes any sense. But the first two rounds, I didn't do jack. I can't swear. I didn't do jack. I didn't do anything the first two rounds. So we just sped that up, got that out of the way. But we end up winning. This was a long, I uh, can't swear, a long game. A 4-3 to three win. Ooh, that's loud. 4-3 to three win uh, for my team. And I got, went 14-3, and three, which is 14 kills. That's a lot. That's a lot. If I'm using a gun to destroy, I don't classify as any uh, game over 10 kills good unless it's flawless and there's no deaths. But this one had 14 and 3 deaths, so it was good. When I'm knifing, anything over like 8 or 9 is good if they're like decent kills. I have one more knifing gameplay on my computer that's Modern Warfare 2. It's actually um, like the same score as this except with a knife. And it's really sweet because knives are awesome and that's what you do in Modern Warfare 2. Well, that's what I do. I knife it up in that game. And in this game, I run around with guns and kill people and search and destroy. I only like search and destroy. It is the it seems like a very wrong time to be talking about this since Modern Warfare 3 is coming out in about I want to say a month. It's going to be coming out and I'm going to get it. You have to get it. Okay, you have to buy Call of Duty. If you don't buy Call of Duty, then I don't know what you are. You obviously don't like first person shooters cuz that's what you that's how they make their money. I like how my aim looks uh theater mode makes your aim look like you suck. But um, I can't play any other game modes. Sometimes I go on like little sprees where I that's all like I can play those game modes and not search. But most of the time it's search and destroy. In Black Ops, I think most of my prestiges I ranked up strictly with um, strictly with search and destroy, which is uh, it's pretty crazy thinking that you got ten, uh, probably uh, seven out of ten prestiges from uh, playing search and destroy. Doesn't you don't usually get pro perks that often, and when you do, well you're pretty pretty happy about that I guess you could say you're happy I don't, I don't know if we get this guy nope someone else got him stinks uh, yeah we got two more two more uh, plus 10 kill games on search and destroy on black ops black ops it's so weird who calls the game black ops but I don't really know what 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 what, what, what what's uh What's to say, you know? Uh, Modern Warfare 3 comes out in a month. We said that. It's, it's, um, well, let's talk about that. It's, it's gonna be COD, okay? It's not a big jump. It's not like the leap in, the leap in the year from, like, Battlefield 2 to Battlefield 3. Six years of production. Everything's new. New engine, new everything. It's not like that. It's a jump from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3. Gonna throw in some new, they're gonna implement some new stuff. Some new, uh, not maybe some new guns, new maybe a little new feel. There's always a new feel. All the cods feel different. Um, so th there's a new feel. There's new play styles for different game modes. New perks, uh, basics, basics like that. And there you go. Commercials over on TV. Back to television. Hey, yeah, that's cool. We gotta finish this first before we can watch that. But I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, oh yeah, Modern Warfare uh, Three. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the feel, it's the same as all the Call of Duties. They're all j based around the same, but they're fun. That's that's the thing about Call of Duty. Call of Duty is, I, I find it fun. I like Search and Destroy. That's my game mode. That's the game mode I play, and will probably in that game feature most on my channel. I don't like using kill streaks. I think they're, I think that's why I don't like the new Call of Duties as much as the other ones. Because no one, do you, do you watch videos from people who make Call of Duty videos and World of War videos? You don't see them pulling out 100 plus kill games. You, you just don't, you don't see it. You make 50 kills is really good in those games. 40 kills is really good. And having a few deaths. Because there's no kill streaks you can get 10, 20 kills with. 
and it's really something crazy. To th it's really something to think about that how many more kills kill streaks give you. I'm always gonna in Modern Warfare uh, 3 since I'm always gonna be running support is gonna be my kill streak. Support, support, support. That's what you uh. That's what you want to use. You want to be able to support your entire team. It benefits everyone and it makes your team play better and everyone play better. When everyone has that black root in there, everyone has that spy plane and you jam the other enemy's spy plane so they don't have eyes. That's how you play. That You want to be a team player. And that's what Battlefield is created for. To create a team. Create a team based game where you have to work together if you're going to win and accomplish things. Um, you can do COD, you can play solo. In Search and Destroy I have trouble carrying the team. When I carry the team, I am generally, I am generally happy about carrying my team, if and when I carry them. But it is, but it's very, it's very hard because you've got bombs, you've got six people, and when you're the only person on your team that's doing anything to do anything, it's hard for you. So you have to be a team player in search and destroy. Your friend, you, whoever you're playing with, has to know what they're doing. You just public is easy. Uh, Search and Destroy has always been the key game battles mode. Uh, with I've seen a lot in Black Ops and um, a lot in Black Ops where it's more like demolition domination on smaller maps than it is Search and Destroy on any map. But I mean, I play GAB a little, GB a little bit. I really don't have any friends that are like maybe that good to where we could actually like win a lot. But a couple of years ago, like one or two years ago, back in Mata, in the end of Mono Warfare 2. Me and my friends were, we had a, um, my one for two game battles team. We were awful, but, like, we, it was all for fun, you know. I've said that, I, I try to say that numerous times in my videos, but I do what I do for fun. This right here, talking over this game, is for fun. This, I play video games for fun. I don't play it, you know, I can play it with, for competition, but I have to be playing with good people, you know what I mean? I'm not calling anyone scrubs or my friends scrubs. I mean, like, most of my, m to be honest, like, most of my friends, we started on Call of Duty, but we've went, but we've jumped to Battlefield, because we're more of the, t of a, of team-based, play the objective, not run around and get kills. That's, like, how we prefer to play, that's how we excel when we play, by working as a team, playing the objective, and the, in some, in Battlefield, I've been pulling out really good scores in that game, which is amazing, while still playing the objective and help supporting the team. But in Call of Duty, it's more about getting kills than playing the objective. You know, everyone always goes that lone wolf, lone wolf style, run the high kill streaks, get the kill streaks, and dominate. I don't like that. That's the one thing that Battlefield still has going for them. They don't have kill streaks. They're kill streaks anyone can use whenever they want to. Which I guess you could say. Ah, excuse me. Help balance is help balances it out because they have a hel helicopters, they have tanks, they have uh, predator drones from the UAVs, and stuff like, and stuff like that. I'm watching TV again. I, I like black out. I like there's something going on and I'm listening to it and then I just like black out. We'll get this guy. He doesn't know what's going on. Um, God, dang it! What was I saying? I was saying something about team base. Yes, Battlefield. Everyone can use the heavy vehicles and everything, and it's a team based game where anyone can do anything and you just become better at it. Call of Duty is more kills and based and that's it. Video's over. Four to three win with a, this I think originally was like a 14 minute bit game which is usually the average Battlefield game. So it was long. I went 14 and three. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you later.